What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're hitting up Target on this toy hunt first. We're gonna see what they got in here. Hopefully they got some good stuff and after this I guess we'll find out where we're going next. But I guess we'll see you when we get to the aisle. Alright guys, here we are. Looks like they got some Elite 54 up here. Got Rich Swan. Got some John Cena. Got Charlotte. Sets are really old now. Got Elite 58 Dean Ambrose. I believe that's the only one from this set that they have. Got George the Animal Steel Hall of Fame. I don't think I've ever found the whole Hall of Fame set all in one place, but it looks like they got them all. They got Diesel. We got Jake the Snake Roberts. Another George the Animal Steel. So I guess they're missing Hot Rod, but we got this new Revival Battle Pack. First time I've seen this Hall of Champions Battle Pack in person. I think this is brand new. We also have the one with Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart right here with the WWF Championship on the back. That's not even the right title, so I don't even know why they put that image right there, as you can see, but oh well. Yeah, John Cena. Got some basics. Finn Balor, Dean Ambrose, more Finn Balor, Naomi. Uh, yeah, guys, just nothing we need here. Hall of Champions Undertaker. Yeah. All right, guys, well, we didn't find anything at Target, but now we're going to be hitting up FYE. They usually have some pretty good selection of WWE figures, so I guess we'll see when we get in their section. All right, guys, here we go. I've never personally been in an FYE, but they got all kinds of stuff here. Got some old elites right here with Elite 35, Fernando, and Diego. Got some DM with Flair, knocking stuff over here. DM Sting with some rippage in the packaging. Happy 4th of July right there. Another Ric Flair trying to fall over. But yeah, they got, oh, it's two Fernandos. It's not even Diego. Got freaking Macho Man or Ric Flair robe. Got entrance greats, Kurt Angle. Elite 54 Charlotte, another Ric Flair, another entrance greats, Kurt Angle. What else we got? We got the Elite 50 Berserker, and holy crap, these McGapsies, guys. They got like 80 of the shop exclusive Hardy Boys 2 packs. This so shocks me, guys. Like, why wouldn't you? They even have dust on them, guys. Like, why wouldn't you buy these? If they ever hit clearance, bro, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to buy all these Sons of Guns. I'm going to buy, like, every single one that they have. I'll probably grab one of those. But they have all kinds of sorts of stuff. They have championship. I didn't even know they sold championships. They got pops. They got cups. They have candy. Beautiful shop hardies. Tons of figures, T-shirts, DVDs. FYE is where it's at, guys. If you, if you have an FYE, you definitely need to come here. Get some T-shirts. Freaking sweetsies. All right, guys, we're back home after the toy hunt, and we did pick up the FYE and WWE Shop Exclusive Hardy Boys right here. And I'm so surprised they had so many of them, like, for real. Like, this set is so amazing. I guess we just don't have too many figure collectors over in the Atlanta, Douglasville, Georgia area. Obviously, me and my wife went out of town for July 4th, so we were like, you know what, let's go ahead and hit up this mall because the last time she was there, they had a ton of these, and I went ahead and picked up another set, as you saw on a former episode of My Damn Hauls. But you can never have too many of these sets, guys, because, I mean, now we can build up some more Hardys, as you can see up here. We have more Hardys up there that we got. We also have an entrance grace down here with the SmackDown Live roster. And then, of course, we have more Matt Hardys over there. So, I mean, I, I am always for getting more Matt Hardys, more Jeff Hardys, and making customs and stuff like that out of them. But uh, that pretty much does it for this toy hunt, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know down in the comment section below if that Revival Battle Pack and Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart Battle Pack are even worth the pickup. I'm not necessarily interested in the Battle Packs. You know, if it was DIY or something and they were basics, I would probably probably grab them but revival basics and Shawn michaels and bret hart basics just aren't worth it to me as well as here are all of those kevin owens that we got on the other day of my or not even a my damn halts episode it was just you know a big haul of kevin owens and the aj styles custom but we do have these kevin owens and we're gonna start getting uh you know started on them we're gonna start working on all these custom ko's and we should have them done Hopefully by the weekend, just I'm just going to sit here and grind and paint them and apply decals all day. 
and we're going to see what they look like. You'll probably see a video either tomorrow or the next day on all of these custom Kevin Owens. But uh, that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Do you have a couple of these Hardy Boys? Let me know down in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.